so what's up guys we are back with another video um before we get started go down there subscribe ring the notification bell and like this video so you'll never miss another video that we post today since i got a 22 personally me my own for christmas jimmy has a shooting range we don't really sort of we have plenty of places to shoot a 22 yeah but i'm gonna go practice we're gonna go practice at jimmy's so yeah let's get on to the video All right, Houston, how far do you think you can shoot that 22? I don't know. You reckon you can hit something at 100 yards? Maybe. No, I don't. We'll start off close, all right? Yeah. How many is there on each stand? Well, count them. How many do you see? Hey, you want to toss one up and see if I can shoot it? You can't shoot one in the air out with a 22. Why not? We can try it. Yeah. What'd you say? Huh? I, I can't hear you. Neither can I. You have to move real quick. Get to the other side real quick. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Good thinking though. Let's yeah. take those earmuffs off until you're ready to shoot. True. Now you don't have to yell at me. Oh, see. Forgot to load it, didn't you? Nope. I loaded it. I just didn't take it off safety. Oh. I was beginning to wonder if you were ever going to pull the trigger. It was hard. To, it's hard to aim. Because <laughs> it's so small. Yeah. Makes you take your time, doesn't it? Yeah. I knocked it down. Nailed it. Let's go check it out. Oh, I definitely cracked it. I can see two pieces already. Well, I cracked it a little bit. This is all I did. Hey, it's a hit. A hit's a hit, man. It is a hit. But, guess what? You can put that one back on there. We can yeah. shoot that one again. Now it's just a little target. <laughs> it's going to be even harder now. I wonder where Jimmy's at. He's supposed to meet us down here. Hang on. Sorry, was for me. Sure did. Oh! Three in a row! They're all still standing! I hit it again! You hit that target and it broke a piece off of it. I saw it. There we go! Shoot the others. Oh, okay. Miss. Yeah. Got it that time. Yeah, I knocked the whole thing down. You're nailing them, man. Some squirrels are going to be dead in my life soon. <laughs> Out of bullets. in a row. Here. Here's someone coming. Come I'm ready back. when you are. What? I said I'm ready when you are. 
All right. So now we got about a 20, a 25, and a 30 yard target. I'm gonna go for the longest one. Okay. I didn't hit it. No, nope, you missed. Got it. I got it! <laughs> That's the farthest one. And you didn't think that peep sight was gonna be very good. You said you needed a scope. Yeah, I actually did. All right, Houston. We switched it up. You're shooting a 17 HMR now. And we, got know it's dead, in. we know it's dead accurate. Yeah, we know it's sighted in. But can you hit a clay target, a four inch clay? How far is that, probably? 75 yards? Well, the last one is probably. Yeah, the last one is. Shoot. Yeah, 70, 75. That's a 50 yard and then a 100 yard target. It's the second big bill. That's, that's uh, yeah, 70, 75, 80, those three are. Look like you shot right over the top one, Houston. Which one are you like. shooting? One, two, or three on those orange ones? On those plates? Hang on. Huh? The very top one. That's about 75 yards. Pretty good poke. Looks like you shot right over the top one again. What happened? You hitting the bullseye on paper. What? Of course, them bullseye shots you made might have been mine, not yours, with my 22. Those caught that when you were counting your bullseyes. What if those were my shots, not yours? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I noticed when we looked down there, we shot three or four times a piece, and they were all pretty close in there. Yeah. But you took the three that was closest to the center. And, oh, Jimmy, these others right out here on the outside of the center had to be mine. <laughs> hey, I love it. That's the way to do it, man. Two of you shooting a bird fall say, I hit him. I swear. No, don't swear. No. <laughs> I swear. Get your hand up here real good. And get it. Yeah, put a new bullet in that. All right, real steady. Real steady. Okay, I know that time I missed. Well, we do too. You know how we know you missed? We're pretty sure. Because all the targets are still there. <laughs> They're supposed to explode when you hit them. I think oh, we go down there, I bet it's got five holes in that in that clay pigeon. Hold your breath when you shoot. Take a breath and hold it. Don't hold it till you pass out, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's shaking just like... So it's hard. You mean you're shaking? Get good and steady. You got it back on safety, uh, so you got to take it off, off of safety to shoot. Okay. So that was, that was one of the problems. Okay. They're good and solid there. Take a breath. Put it right on and squeeze. I can't <laughs> do that far this one. Those are big racks on PC. See if we elite some of them red hots. Okay. I'm gonna put some out no. there. No. Are those hot? Let's yeah. see one of them. Are they hot? Once you eat uh, like three, they are. Hot tamales. I think they're hot. Ain't they pretty? 
Jenny says, I think I'll go over and get a little bit. So obviously it's the next day and the kids have gone back to school. So yesterday was just an awesome Sunday afternoon and Emily was off with some friends and Weston was off doing other things and Houston wanted to do a little shooting. But he had told old Jimmy Houston about his new 22 and he was really wanting to show that thing off and show, show Jimmy what he could do. So we went down there to shoot. Houston said, yeah, cause Jimmy's got a shooting range. I'm like, we couldn't have set some targets up here in our yard, Houston. But anyways, it's hard to film long distance with this camera doesn't have zoom, but Houston is dialed in with that peep side on that little 22. And I say, I told him if he can hit a four inch clay at 20 and 30 yards, like he was doing yesterday, squirrels don't stand a chance. And he's been on me about wanting to hunt squirrels, but you know, like I said, we just went down there just for the fun of it. And I wasn't even going to take a camera, but he wanted me to film him shooting a little bit and then, you know, go back to Jimmy's house and there's just deer everywhere. Guys, if you don't watch Jimmy Houston's channel on Facebook and YouTube, you're missing out. That guy, I, I mean, Jimmy and I become really, really, have become really good friends. And the more I've got to know Jimmy Houston, the more respect I have for him. He's such a cool guy. And, you know, he spent his whole lifetime as a professional bass fisherman and had a television show for, I think he's in season 43 or something. I mean, been on TV for 40 plus years. And uh, now he's trying to grow online, social media, Facebook, YouTube, all that stuff. And that's kind of how we got to know Jimmy Houston. But the more I've been around him, the more respect I have for that guy. And Go check him out. He's really trying hard to grow his channel. Uh, I think YouTube's at like 85,000 subscribers or something. Now, Facebook, he's huge. He's got like 500,000 followers there or something. But, you know, he's also got a second channel that he does for the Catch of the Day, which is a daily devotional. And he's writing a second devotional book right now. And, you know, he's just, he's such a cool guy. And he does so much for the outdoor industry and outdoor world. But on a personal level, I mean, just, you know, Houston calls him all the time and like yesterday called hey Jimmy we want to come over and shoot and he just drops what he's doing and you know makes time for that eight-year-old boy that that really looks up to him but uh, anyways we, we plan on doing some more stuff with Jimmy on YouTube and Facebook making videos and all that stuff this year I don't know what all he's got planned but I know we'll probably be doing some fishing over there and how could you turn that down the man's got two private lakes on his property but I, you know we were just standing there in his backyard talking forever yesterday and just talking about different things. And I'm standing there on this hill by his house. And you guys have seen this multiple times probably. If you go to his channel, you'll see it all the time. But he has a lake in his backyard and then across the lake, it's just mountains. I'm telling you what, he lives in probably the most beautiful spot I've ever seen around here. And we're sitting there with all these deer running around and this giant buck walks out there that comes in and eats out of his yard every day. Yeah, if we go figure in, there's ducks on the lake and just, it's just so cool. It's so neat. Such a peaceful spot. And, you know, he lives on the backside of a 2000 acre ranch and I can't even begin to imagine. I love where I'm at. We live in a great spot and we live on a hundred acres, but a hundred, 110 acres versus 2000. I, I can't even comprehend that. But anyway, so I'm going to just bring you guys along on my chores today. I, you know, this vi video wasn't really anything special or anything huge planned. Houston wanted to show you guys shooting his 22 because he's so proud of that. But I do know I need to go fill up a deer feeder. I'm probably going to move it. The pigs have become a huge problem over there, which I understand I've got a deer feeder going, but it concentrates those pigs to one spot. And we still want to do some pig hunting, maybe even do some trapping. We brought in a Jaeger Pro Trap the last couple of years. I don't own it. I was a friend of mine brought it down. I just didn't have a lot of success. So I've been looking online at some different trap options. There's one called a boar buster trap and it's like a round pin and the whole thing is elevated and it's just got legs. So the, the pigs don't have to walk into a gate. And that's the thing with the hogs around here is everybody traps them and they're so trap shy. Most of those older pigs won't go in a trap, but something that's elevated and then it's got a camera system, just like that Jaeger Pro, it'll send you pictures on your cell phone and you can hit a button and drop the whole trap around the whole sounder. So maybe, I don't know. I'm thinking about getting one of those to try to trap some of these pigs because they do a lot of damage and uh, I want to be able to feed the deer and not the pigs. And uh, they're just a nuisance. They're, they're a feral animal that aren't supposed to be here. But anyways, I'm going to go move 
that uh, deer feeder because the pigs have just wallered out around it. So all the, when the corn falls out, it just lands in the water. It's kind of nasty and I don't want the deer eating that. So I'm gonna move one of those. I gotta check a couple of raccoon traps for Houston. He's going to school right now and this boy is, he's been on me about trapping. He wants to trap some coyotes and bobcats and stuff. But we're working on some raccoons right now. Kind of hoping he doesn't have any caught while he's gone. So I'm gonna do that and just bring you guys along on my chores today. And uh, I don't know what all we'll get into, but uh, I may take another deer feeder down and bring it up here by the house. The, uh, the deer in the mornings have been coming in to my front yard right here can't see it on camera right now but right out in front of our house we've got a lot of oak trees and a lot of acorns and the deer I mean there's a lot of mornings I come outside and there'll be five six seven deer in the front yard now they're not as tame as Jimmy's deer <laughs> but Jimmy has pet deer I don't know. go check that out but uh, they're in the front yard today so I may bring one of my deer feeders up here and set it up in the yard so we can uh, at least enjoy the deer deer season is about completely wrapped up it'll actually end officially on January 15th so it's just archery season right now, and I'm not bow hunting anymore this year. I'm not doing much hunting right now. We've got plenty of deer meat in the freezer, and uh, plus all of our beef and pork and everything else. So uh, probably put a feeder up in the yard just so we can enjoy the deer. So let's go do some chores. So welcome to the mud hole. <laughs> the uh, pigs definitely have made a mess there. So all I'm going to do is just move this thing a few feet one direction or the other. But the pigs are coming in very consistently. I've got this uh, Tacticam, this Revel Tacticam cellular camera that sends me pictures. However, the biggest problem is they come in all hours of the night. We're getting a few daylight pictures, but what I think I'll do with this feeder, since we're not deer hunting anymore, I'll set the timer to where it only goes off early in the morning and that will either a train the pigs to only come in during the daylight because that's the only time there's going to be much corn on the ground or you know just give the uh, the deer lots of corn to eat throughout the day so I'm not really that concerned about it my main goal the deer you know this is just supplemental feeding for the deer it's not really helping them a whole lot it's just corn but it could help us get the pigs here in the daylight and then Houston and Emily and everybody could do a little more pig hunting. So let's get this thing moved and fill her back up. Houston's old hog and here's where he put one of his raccoon traps he still got a marshmallow and some dog food there nothing set it off this hog it just looks like nothing is hardly touching it at all I think while I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and pull this game camera and check out what's been coming into it and uh, if we get any good pictures I'll show you guys
Alright, I have one more trap to check for Houston and I'll probably check this game camera while I'm down here and see what's on it. He knew there were raccoons in this area so he wanted to put a trap here. Nope, nothing. Trap's still set. I got a marshmallow, dog food. Oh well. <laughs> Not going to say I'm disappointed right now. Uh, Houston would be upset at me for saying that. but So let's see what we got on the otter cam. See if those guys have been back. Nine pictures. Huh. Well, we might as well see what they are. Well, I just checked the card. I just took the memory card out and put it in this camera. Had nine pictures. I think five or six of them were me in Houston. And the rest were just one raccoon moving around down there. So no otters. The otters have not returned since that first time I got pictures of them so I mean I guess that could be a good thing a lot of people said in the comments of those videos that otters may travel as much as 30 or 40 miles looking for food so they may have just been passing through and didn't stick around here because this time of year there's just not much for them to eat in this creek there's just not a lot of fish that spend the winter time here so they may have cleaned out what few fish were there and just moved on upstream and no evidence of them at the pond either so that's always a good thing but i think i'm gonna wrap this video up here i know it's kind of random and just uh not a whole lot of great content in my opinion but sometimes you guys favorite videos are the ones that i don't really think are going to go over very well ones where i just sit down and talk or just do some little random thing throughout the day and share that with you guys seem to be the videos that everyone loves the most and <laughs> perform the best so uh, this is kind of what my day is today the kids have gone back to school and uh, that's always a hard transition for me especially now that that i'm working from home and working on the farm and not having to leave for a full-time job anymore when the kids go back to school yeah it frees up a lot of time but um i miss them when they're not here so i don't think homeschool is is in the order for our family by any means it's just something that we haven't really ever wanted to do we want to send our kids to school because they're super involved in all the activities and sports and everything and i mean we hope i mean weston's a senior our oldest is a senior it's his last basketball season and uh, he's really really hoping for a chance to play basketball in college and i'm not even sure they're going to get to have much of a basketball season so he uh, had a couple games and that's about it but we'll see they're back in school and uh, we'll see how it goes over but anyways i'm gonna call it quits here and find something else to do out here on the farm it's such a beautiful day the weather is perfect it's not raining it's not cloudy and it's not cold it's just amazing so anyways guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it y'all have a great day and as always we'll see you on the next video